A 300-pound bronze fish missing from Indiana University's Showalter Fountain since at least 2010 has been returned. But as WTIU Stan Jastrzewski reports, the perpetrators likely won't face any consequences. Several fish have been stolen from IU's Showalter Fountain over the years, most recently in the summer of 2010. IU curator of campus art Sherry Rouse says the school has tried criminal prosecution before, but it just wasn't worth it. Well, the last time somebody took a fish, we arrested that person, and that person went to jail and did a little time. And, you know, there's no way to really prosecute. This person was a student, and you, you don't end up being able to win. You know, the, the parents are already paying the university. There's this person doesn't have money to pay for the fish. And so you end up kind of dead in the water. IU Campus Safety Director Jerry Minger says a three-year lag in the search for the fish's abductor meant the trail had gone cold. So when the opportunity came to get the artifact back, he counseled Rouse to seek the art, not the thief. In criminal investigations, the quicker you can act on an investigation, especially with good information, the better chance you have of retrieving property and or finding someone to charge and convict in a crime. Currently, the fountain is mostly empty, awaiting the annual spring installation of the fish-shaped spigots. Rouse says they're now better anchored to the fountain to help prevent future incidents. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski.